So, anyways, we dropped that load in Omaha yesterday. The guy screwed me out of that load. The planner, I guess he gave one of his regulars my Fort Worth load right after he took it off of me. Because he didn't give it back to me. I even went to the plant because I had the load number. And uh, they usually ask, what's your load number? And I told them the load number for the Fort Worth load just to see, you know, if it was still there or not. You know, I had a plan. Because if it was there, I was going to send them a message. But turns out someone had already picked it up. And that's kind of what I figured. So now I'm stuck here in uh, Schuyler, Nebraska. This is where I deadheaded to from Omaha to get the load. So I'm stuck here in Schuyler, Nebraska. I dropped my trailer at the plant. I still have not, I've been here for, so I got here around three. 3.30, something like that. So, I've been here about 20 hours. I did inform them that I was running on recap, but I do have enough time that I got back from recap to make it to Texas. But I don't know, He, they may make me wait until I finish at 34. And that's probably their plan, you know, wait till, I, wait till I finish at 34 and then send me over there to South Carolina. Which I don't really mind because that load pays hella good. I was actually going to accept that load after I figured out the rate for it. Rate to the truck. Because it was $3.20, $3.20 a mile going over there to the truck after their percentage and everything right clear after their percentage so yeah I mean I'll I really don't want to I don't want to stay out for another week but uh, I will take it over there you know it's good money because when you look at it it's only a two day run then a two day run back and then two days back to the house so it'll I'll be out another week and that's if they give me the Montana load coming back which I don't want but I'm kind of skeptic of going down to South Carolina because that plant down there it uh, doesn't have many loads coming out of there so any any load that they that they have they have to set up I mean they have trucks going in and out of there getting loads but they don't for some reason they don't they don't give it to our drivers as much they don't have I don't know it used to be better but here lately it's it's not doing this as well as far as loads coming out so I'm kind of skeptic on going down there even uh and that's and that's why I declined the load in the first place because I would I would have probably well, I take that back. I would I don't think I would have been able to make it because I only had like seven and a half hours left yesterday. If I would have if I would have I got fuel and sat brothers on my way over here. And uh, if I would have I did drop the trailer at the plant, but if I would have hooked to the trailer by the time I left I would have only had seven and a half hours to drive for the day. But if you stop a few times, you know, that could cut cut it back to you know seven hours or maybe less. And how far am I gonna get in seven hours when the load's due there in two days and it's over twelve hundred miles? You know, so I think I would have come up short on the second day. I didn't put it in my GPS, you know. But I mean if I put every load they sent me in my in my GPS to try to figure it out, I'd I would never leave the truck stop because they'll, they'll give you, which is good, I like pre-plans, but uh, man, I cannot sit there and figure out every pre-plan when they send you three or four loads for the pre-plan, you know? You'll be there for two hours trying to figure out if you can make this, if you can, what time are you gonna get there, what time are you gonna get to the other, you'll be there for two hours trying to figure that out and writing everything down. You know, unless you specifically have done that route time after time, like the, the Texas routes, 
I know exactly how long it takes going to each place. Houston, San Antonio, Laporte, Dallas, Fort Worth. You know, I, I know how long it takes. I know how long it takes me to get to the plant and then get that load there. But, and I've got a pretty good, pretty good idea about, you know, Wisconsin now. How long it takes me to get to Wisconsin. Exactly, but from here, I mean, I've done these runs before from here to South Carolina and whatnot, but it's been a while. It has been a while. It's been a while since I've been to South Carolina. I think the last time I went was uh, when I when I did those uh, empties up to I went to Atlanta or I went to Noonan and then uh, dropped the load there and then took those empties up to Nashville. And that was over a year ago. Yeah, probably going on a year and a half now since I've been to South Carolina. been trying to avoid it because they don't have any loads coming back too much and I was surprised they gave me a Montana load coming from there I'd be really hyped up and I'd be really eager to do it if that Montana load paid even better than it did but it doesn't I mean after their cut it does pay in the two dollar range about two two thirty five which is decent you know because I don't have to pay reefer fuel so it's 235 to the truck. They pay the reefer fuel, so it's not bad, you know, but it could be better. I mean we're contracted. I mean we're making over the spot market, but we are contracted like that. When the spot market goes up, we make a little less in the spot market. But they try to keep it in a range of, you know that we can make it through good and bad times. But, yeah, that planter he has, as far as I know, unless they just sent me something. Uh, no. no. that was a fleet message. All right, people, it is a cluster. Cluster today, or the last two days. I finished my 34 uh, yesterday, early in the morning. I didn't get a load until later that afternoon, around four o'clock. And uh, you know, I when I dropped my trailer at the plant because I thought I was going to pick up a load at this plant over here. It's, it's what usually ninety percent of the time it happens. Well, Steady sends me a broker load. It loads in Creek. Nebraska and Smithfield. It's either Smithfield or Americold where it loads, but that Americold basically is the cold storage for that plant. It's in the middle of nowhere. So, you know, I sent them a message when I dropped the trailer two days ago at the plant that I dropped the trailer at the plant. Fully expecting, you know, that I was going to get a meat load out of this Skyler plant. Cargo load, right? Well, he sends me a message yesterday about this broker load to pick up in Creek, which doesn't pay very well at all. It goes to Georgia. I mean, about three hours south of Atlanta, clo pretty close to the Florida line. It doesn't pay very good. And, uh, I really didn't want to do it, but I don't need to sit here. I mean, it pays over two dollars a mile of the truck, but still, you know, for for uh, a load going that far, I mean, that just that just irritates me to to have a a two day load or over two days and and to not get you know a decent price for it or a better price. It just irritates the hell out of me. And I can't believe that, you know, I'm just glad I'm not paying reefer fuel. If I did have to pay reefer fuel, I wouldn't even do it. 
but uh, I informed them that remember I dropped my trailer at the plant I will am I gonna need another trailer you know to go get this load and the answer was yes and that's all that was said <laughs> so I called after hours after that and let them know well they said yes that I need a trailer to get this load but they did not inform me that they held the trailer for me at the plant because usually that's what they'll do because when, when empty trailers come in they'll get assigned loads right if they have an assigned load that that trailer is on even if they're empty then uh, the plant will not release that trailer to a driver and that's what happened last night after I logged in you know I let them know that in the afternoon and uh, but they were under under the assumption that I could just go in and get a trailer when I was telling them uh, you know I need a trailer release to me and they you know I got the response back well just go in and just go in and get one you can you can go to that plant and just get pick up a trailer well, lo and behold I went to the plant and they would not release the trailer to me so I came back over here went back to sleep uh, made sure the after hours dispatch sent the appropriate emails and uh, woke up this morning right after 8 o'clock it's now 9 o'clock uh, sent another message to my driver manager uh, basically letting her know that I didn't get loaded because I didn't get a release of the trailer she said well there's and we have another plant over 30 miles away, about 30 miles away. It's in Columbus, Nebraska. She said, we'll go to Columbus and get this one trailer that needs a 90-day inspection. You should be able to get in. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Before I do that, am I even going to be able to go to go to Creed and get loaded? Because the appointment was at 1 o'clock in the morning. It's a little past one o'clock in the morning. I mean, for all we know, that broker could have gave the load to another carrier. You know, because we did send the email a couple hours before the appointment time, so he could have easily given given that load to another carrier, and they would they would have picked it up. So basically, that was my question: Can I still get loaded? For that load so i mean what's the point of me going to pick up um, that trailer logging in i don't mind picking up the trailer you know i'd rather have a trailer behind me but if i have to log in again and sit around it's going to burn my on-duty time like it did last night and that's what i told that after i was dispatch i'm like well could you could you uh call them to have them release a trailer to me that way you know I'm not logging in for nothing but that's what happened I mean they thought that I could just pick up a trailer no problem and I ended up logging in doing a pre-trip going over there to the plant which is right around the block and ended up not getting a trailer then I had to come back and log out And I think I'm going to gain my time back at here in about six minutes. So, and the second part, what is the point of me logging in, going to get a trailer that they say I can get at that other plant, and then going to Crete and not being able to load it? Maybe they gave it to another carrier. So it's kind of a cluster around here. I don't know why this planter up here cannot give me another meat load. There's, there's a lot of meat loads coming out of this plant, so I, I don't understand why he can't give me a meat load coming out of this plant. It's kind of weird. But 
if I do do that load, I need to get loaded today, preferably in the morning, and uh, get down the road. You know, I have to take some time off this this run because it's you know it's over it's over 1,200 miles. But at any rate, we shall see what the future holds here in a little while. I'm still waiting to hear back from the driver manager to see if I can get loaded or not. I think they just sent me a message. Either that or it was a fleet message. No, it was a fleet message. I am tempted to just go get this trailer and go down to Cree. But I may be wasting my time doing that. I think this is Columbus, but I'm not too sure on that. It's not even 30 miles, it's like a little over 10 miles probably. to that building to the left it says washouts
we need to hunt down 21204. The guard said it was over here. Uh, well, my luck is probably in the, uh, in the shop. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Trying to hide from me. Feels good to be doing something instead of sitting or laying in that sleeper. All right, people, we got a trailer washout. Um, everything looked like it's working good on this trailer except for these freaking wind. What do you call those side skirts? couple of spots on them and they need to be remounted. One in the front on one of them and then one in the back. And I've got people to be calling me left and right that I missed their call. We're going to head over here and head out here and head towards uh, I've never been to Crete before. Let's see which way the GPS is what we go back to Skyler. So we just got a trailer washout. The lights. I mean, there's two tires on that trailer that could be replaced. They're getting down there. And I think I'm going to have to, after I stop today sometime, I'm going to have to find a Petro over there. So I'm going to have to get on 70. So I'll come by a Petro. I'm going to stop and see if I can get this uh, trailer. DOT inspection. Columbus is a pretty cool little town, you know. I don't know. I don't know the population, but it's a small town. It's not some. It's not a one-horse town or a two-horse town. I mean, there's some people who live here, as you can tell by the plants that are here. miles to Skyler. I was thinking it was about 10. There it is. It just feels good not having to sit there at that truck stop, you know. I hate taking 34s on the road. I don't like it. Especially when you don't have another load to pick up. And you don't have a trailer to pick up the load with. It sucks. So we got us a trailer. It's DOT. Okay. A while ago, I was getting a trailer washout. And he was saying that, uh, they said they should be okay with it. I'll be at work yet. So, I don't know what that means. I mean, I do know what that means, but I don't know what that means as far as the time I'm going to get out of there. I guess we'll just have to wait and see.
actually never been through Skyler before. That's what we're going through right now. We stopped at, there at the Loves and got some uh, reefer fuel. Because this is a plant. I mean, if we need to go to the plant, then uh, they're going to check to see if it's over three quarters of the tanks. We had to stop and I think I put, let's see. a little bit of this and you can go and watch the entire C-SPAN presentation. Pretty nice little town here, David, Nebraska.
think we're over here in Concordia. Yeah. PA in Concordia, Missouri. We need to stop, get some fuel. And then probably get down the road a little more. In one quarter mile, turn right, then take the first right. We've already went through Kansas City. Good people, we are here at Midway. It's the following morning, and uh, we're just about ready to head out. Uh, I am going to have to. I was going to try to make it to Kingdom City last night, but I didn't think they had enough parking places. They may have. I may have been. You know, I might have should have just went over there, but didn't want to take the chance of not having any parking. Usually at Petro's you can find a spot you can be at the reserve. But anyways, uh, Petro's is one of the places where we get inspections done, DOT inspections, and this trailer needs one. I have to try to make it into Alabama tonight. All right, let's get out of here and head over. Petro's not too far away from here, so head over to Petro. See if I can get in the shop. I wish I had my grinder with me. I would grind that five or less off. Old oh, Creek, I just picked up in Creek. Right, Joe? Come on, Creek, you gotta make your own lane. folks we got in here about <laughs> about an hour from where we started I had to stop see if I could get a DOT somewhere I stopped at the Petro they didn't have a guy that was working so uh, but without further inspection Upon further inspection, I uh, had a wheel saw out, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done, too. Uh, I must have just blown out coming over here, so we parked our trailer over there. 
side of the shop and hopefully this is going to make it tight for that load because I still have a 14 hour drive or I've already wasted drive time uh, being here because it was two hours before I even got into the shop for the trailer so we'll see well hello and good morning good people I hope you're doing well this morning it is June the 25th 2023 and uh, we left out of that one town. I don't know what town it was, but it was over there off of uh, 70. Uh, not too far from Kingdom City, I believe. Probably an hour east of that. And uh, we had to get this trailer DOT inspected because it was due for a 90 day. Tried to get some other stuff done. They did not fix, fix the side skirts. I just wanted them to cut it back, but they didn't even do that. So whatever. Uh, so hopefully we won't get a ticket for that. Maybe I can drop this trailer at a plant. I'm hoping to go to that, go to a cargo plant either at Noonan. West Columbia. So maybe they'll let us drop. Maybe they'll load another trailer for us. But uh, we had to shag last night because we got that done. We found out our wheel seal was out on our truck, so we went ahead and got that replaced. Replaced the wheel seal, the uh, the brakes, and the drum. Went ahead and replaced the drum. Um, I don't think it was due to be replaced, because usually you can run uh, two sets of brakes on a drum. I've only ran one set. But uh, it looked like I had stress cracks in it, in the liner, so they're, they're a little wide. I probably would have tore those brakes up. Or it would have that liner would have fell apart. But we made it to uh, we shagged butt last night after that because I only had like a little over five hours left of driving. And I wasted seven hours there at the loves getting a DOT for the trailer and getting getting my wheel seal and brakes and drums put on that uh, passenger front uh, wheel. So we left out of there with a little over five hours left to drive and we shagged butt down here to West Memphis, Arkansas. Uh, makes a pretty good time. That's a pretty good road coming down here. We took, what was it, 26? Yeah, 26. And now we're over here in the screwed up West Memphis stuff. We got a reservation for the pilot last night because we did, we, we did not get here until one o'clock in the morning. So I went ahead and made a reservation for parking. I'm glad I did because they were completely full. There were two reserved spots left. We backed into, well you see how tight it is right there in front of me. I'll park to the right, right there. Kind of towards the street. But it's pretty tight to get it in there. But we got in there, did our 10, now we're uh, I had to come over here and wash my windshield because those freaking bugs last night were horrible, man. I don't know what they were, mosquitoes or gnats or a combination of both, but they were little bugs and they just covered both windshields. Uh, and there's still remnants of these freaking bugs. There's still remnants of them. But we were going to try to I was gonna try to get some reefer fuel. I've got a half a tank, but uh, but that card reader doesn't work on that pump. And when I went inside, there was like ten people in line. So I was like, screw that. I'll get it down the road. <laughs> you know, I just get it down the road. We're about ready to take off. It's about 11:30 now. It's a little past 11:30, so 
We need to get the make like a duck and get the or make like a sheep and get the flock out of here. Make like a duck and get the quack out of here. I think we gotta go past that scale getting all 40. Which that sucks. Please drive to highlighted route. Grab this phone so I can see it. I'm actually going by my uh yeah we need to get on I-40 East and get I don't know what the road that is. 69 South. That'll probably give me put me on some screwed up freaking road. I think it's gonna put me on that freaking road with a lot of stoplights every mile, you know. Every freaking mile. But oh well. It's either that or just go around that long ass loop. Instead of cutting it across on that one road, I'm just going to take 69 down there. What did I say, 269? I think it's not it. I'm going to wait on this truck and just keep gaining speed. Come on, bro. Damn, now we got two more cars to wait on. If I was empty, I would have win. I'm loaded, so it takes me a while to get it. speed up.
least I am for the eggs. I'm not gonna pay attention. It's one of me to take that one road that cuts through the town and goes into the stop lines. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go straight. So I may be listening to the garbage.
see if we get the green light, people. Hopefully we will. It might be closed though on Sunday. Then you got the red light, would you go in? 